Good morning, everyone. It's Penelope, and I went to JC to finalize some deals. Um, people that weren't giving coupons, so I had a few more coupons that I didn't have the past two weeks for the five times digital. I always go on Tuesdays to find discount bread, vegetables, and greens for the girls, as well as woohoos and some of the finalized of the sales. So I'm going to get right into this. Um, first things first, I'm going to look at what I had coupons for, and then I'm going to do the deals, I'm going to do the fruits and vegetables, and then the bread. So here we go. First things first, um, I had another dollar off on the coffee mate, so I got another coffee mate creamer for 99 cents. Um, the noodle cups were 37 cents a piece. I had a dollar off three, made them 11 cents or four cents a piece. Fantastic. Okay. The Chic Extreme, once again, I did not have that digital, um, so my $3 coupon made it. $1.89. I don't know why it's not popping off, but whatever. Okay, the Right Guard Sport. These are bigger than the ones that were at Dollar General. They were at $1.50. I had a dollar off coupon and it made it 50 cents. It was fantastic. Now, the digital coupons that I had, these are the Chicken of the Sea tunas. Um, last week I got eight. This week I got eight. So here are my eight. I paid 50 cents a piece for them. So now I have 16 more cans of tuna in my stockpile. Fantastic. The Kroger pickles um, are $1.99. There was a 50 cent digital, which made them $1.49. I was fine with that. Banana peppers were on sale for $1.99. I went ahead and got them because I need them for my deviled eggs. And we'll show you that recipe very, very soon. Okay, so on the Woohoo, I found two of these Tropicanas. These are the orange peach. They're 50% sugar. They were on the Wii for $1.59 a piece. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there it is. I wish I had a coupon for them, but I did not. But for $1.59 a piece, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Okay, fruits and vegetables. I got a bunch of kale for the girls. It's 99 cents a bunch. I went ahead and got a bunch um, for them. I found three avocados for a dollar. I found three pears for a dollar. I found two of these English cucumbers for a dollar. So I've got some fresh fruits and vegetables that I got on sale. Um, I found these chicken legs for two sixty a piece or two sixty. There are six, so that would make them. Let's see here, divided by six. Forty-three cents a leg. Um, I haven't cooked legs in a while, but I'm going to throw these in the freezer and I'll have them for some other week that my husband decides he's ready for chicken legs again. It's a little burnout on them. Okay, so this was the bread that I got. I did not find any of the sliced bread on sale, but this is the good dough bread. It's 95 cents a loaf. I went ahead and got it. I found some cinnamon raisin bagels for 49 cents. I found some hot dog buns for 49 cents. I found some hamburger buns for 69 cents. So this is what I spent. I spent $24.03. With my savings, I spent I saved $15.11. Now, it's not the best deal in the world, but I've got fresh fruit, vegetables, meat, canned tuna, bread, soup, pickles, juice. You know, that, that's kind of like the staples of life, right? You need fresh fruits and vegetables and bread and orange juice and canned tuna if you're a prepper, right? Or, you know what? See those little lunch needle things? <laughs> if you watch The Walking Dead, um, they eat these a lot. I'm just saying. Okay, so now let's look at a cycle. Okay, so this is my March calendar. I went and got this yesterday for 54 cents. They're 70% off from Dollar General. And so I went ahead and got this because I needed to write down some dates. But it also gave me a 5 off of 25 for this weekend. Look at this. Lent begins uh, March 1st. Now, all of March, all of March, you're going to find great um, fish deals, tuna deals, shrimp deals, lobster deals, anything that's not considered meat, chicken, beef, pork, or whatever. 
Um, so this is when you start stocking up your freezer on fish deals and so on and so forth. So Lent ends, I believe, on Good Friday, right? So Good Friday, you're still in Lent, but then starting the last, what, three weeks of April, you're no longer in Lent. So you're going to see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fish deals starting next month. So the month of March is always when you stock up your fishes. Your fish? Your fishes? <laughs> so there you go. Just a little tip. Um, if you want to start stocking your freezer up on frozen fishes, fish, that's when you do it. You'll have a great day, and I might do another video. <laughs> Bye, y'all.